Welcome back, everyone. Everyone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we're back to the full exploration episodes, part two. It's gonna be a huge world out there to explore. Oh, I guess we have a little battles here. Not much. With that flying uh, bug, if you use the ice arrows, you'll see how quickly it dies. I guess it goes for almost all flying uh, creatures. Because the when you freeze them, they just fall and then they break. So it kind of makes sense. And it also works with sea creatures. Since they're, they're in the water, they kind of freeze faster and break. It's basically what I use for just all types of sea creatures that attack me. You can use the boomerang too, but it's a bit faster with the with the arrows. And I guess we still don't have a chart that will make a treasure appear in this uh, little island. So I believe it's one of those places that we need to come back uh, later on just to pick up that treasure. So the charts must be somewhere around this, this, uh, somewhere around north, or there are even uh, mini games in the sea that you have to play that will give you a chart. So, yeah. So let's go north. Whoa! Damn, I really hate those PB hats, overgrown PBs. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I really. Ugh, they're so annoying. I, I'm sure that the developers of this game made them so that they are annoying. I said, oh, we have to make this really annoying creature. <laughs> so, uh, I believe there's a big octo up in this square. I'm gonna look for it. Oh no! It's turning into night and I forgot. It's so laggy when that happens. Yeah, I have to go back to daylight. Oh man. I really can't let it happen. It's so bad. It's, it's kind of like the transition between day and night. But at the same time, I want uh, to keep daylight because it's easier to spot things. At night, it's very hard to spot those uh, seagulls that indicate the place where the octo is, the big octo. And, uh, let's see. <clears throat> so this is our next little island, but still, where is it? Oh man, I hate it when the seagulls start following me. I mean, I know it's kind of cute, but they just bother the the vision, and I don't, I can't see anything with them all around me. I wish it was like a feature of the game where you can like kick them off or something, or just shoo them off. And it seems we have a treasure right there. <coughs> so let me pick it up. This, these ones are special. They disappear even way before you can get there. Again, just to annoy you. <laughs> um, I'm kind of used to uh, picking them up very fast. But you can use the map in the treasure shard to locate it better. Because you can see like the small X in the map. And you can see the triangle indicating that it's you. And then you know if you're closer or you're further away. Let me uh, show you guys. Oh, and each treasure shard will be marked as if you already got it. So you can see I'm right next to it. So that's how you do it. I just did it like that because that's how I always do it. And also you can let yourself be guided by the noise of which... When you're getting close to the treasure shard, it sounds like some sort of holy 
uh, symphony or something, and the louder it, it it is, it means that it's right there. You know, so. Okay, so I'm gonna look around for the for the big octo off screen, and then I'll be right back, guys, because I'm gonna spend the whole video looking for it. So yeah, let me check it out. All right, so it's right here, a little to the east, not too far from the north. Let me show you with the telescope. See, it's right there. It's a bit hard to find. They kind of always are anyways, a little bit, but you know. I forgot to change the currents of the wind, but I guess I can get there anyways. And it's becoming uh, cloudy all of a sudden when you get close to them. <clears throat> and here we go. So this one has... I don't know if it had some more eyes than the one that we fought before. But I believe so. I guess for the next part I'll be off screen going to the beetle chop and getting more bombs. So I'm kinda short right now. Alright, I got him. It sinks into its death. Yeah. So let's grab that. Lu 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 lu. <laughs> that reminded me of a series that I watch. Uh, uh, Full Metal Panic Fumo Fu. Uh, I watch it on Spanish because it's uh, there. You know, I just randomly watch series in different languages, and I pick the best that I like. Oh man, that was very laggy. Uh, like for example, Naruto, I only watch it on on Japanese with subtitles because I never get used to the English version or the Spanish version. But with Full Metal Panic Fumo Fu, uh, it's really funny in Spanish. And you hear this part where his he's reading some kind of letter, no, so, some uh, school report, and then the girl goes like. And I was very happy and something like that. And then it says, like on the bottom, loo, 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 loo. <laughs> and I was like thinking about that when I was going like, loo, 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 loo. It's really funny. It's really funny stuff. Oh, man. What the hell? Ugh. Yeah, I really recommend it. <clears throat> oh, yeah, it's night. Duh. Duh. Day and night so fast, like maybe not as fast as Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time is just beyond fast. I mean, Link wakes up in the morning, he tries to eat breakfast, and it's already the evening. So he's like, "Damn, give me a break." <laughs> well, that is if he lives in the Hyrule field. If he lives in town, t time never passes, so he has all the time of the world. It'll be 6 a.m. forever. <laughs> so basically, on this island, there is a um, there's a special chart that will help us grab a Triforce chart. So it's a necessary place in the world, kind of like those places that you need your gonna end up going if you want to finish the game anyways that's why the first time I played this game I ended up play, uh, exploring the whole world cuz you know I never look at strategy guides or anything I like to like you know do the stuff on my own and that's how uh, well I don't know if I can make this on this video but let's see This is a uh, kind of riddle-ish 
place because they give you more than one jar to enter and only one jar is the right one. Oh no. Uh, well, I better just stop here and I'll see you guys on the next one. So I'll finish this and thank you for watching guys. Bye bye.